friends, I am here with another video. It is so nice to be back filming. Um, and I'm married now, so that's fantastic. It's actually three weeks today that I've been married. And it's been pretty awesome. And then work came along and not so awesome. I ended up being transferred to schools. I'm a teacher. And we had too many teachers at our school not enough students. And so I went to a school that didn't have enough teachers. So I had to set up a brand new classroom, get to know a bunch of kids. And I am exhausted. I've been at work every night until at least 730. Um, so it's been crazy. And I said, I'm coming home early today and got home and I had the ask box waiting. So I um, figured I would jump on and film. I've got a couple more videos to film and get caught up on. And then hopefully I can keep a schedule eventually maybe probably not I'm not very organized but this is the ask box and this is the year four this is about seventy dollars so it's expensive in terms of subscription boxes of what I pay for this is the most expensive box that I buy um is it expensive yes do I love it absolutely everything in here is handmade they collaborate with artists and different um, creators, and it's all themed around each of the years, and it's just amazing. I've not been disappointed with any of the Azka boxes, and I have read book four, so I should know most of this. Come book five, I've only read through half of it, so it's time to start uh, doing my audiobook on the way to work again because I've got a longer commute to work now. But let's go ahead, jump on in. I'll give you guys a sneak peek and we will continue on. Everything just fell out. So there's your sneak peek. All right. Let me grab this and we'll just start, I guess. Um, so the first thing that came out is the, like, I about said ingredient list. It's not an ingredient list, but I saw the cauldron. The list of items that is in the box and, and then it says, a report on cauldron bottom thickness and the need for regulation, August 30th, 1994. Perfect. And then we have this mystery envelope um, or paper. It says, Society Promoting, Promoting Elvish Welfare. So this is for the SPEW or the SPU. And I will read this at the end. And then we have... A little spew pin so it has a little house elf and then it says spew on it um it looks like it's one of those iron-ons that you can put on like a hat or something i honestly won't i don't see myself doing that i'll probably just keep it with the stuff in the box and then once my husband and i get like a display case i'll put it up there with everything that i have that's harry potter um then we have the artwork for this box and these are collaborations and the artists typically only make these for the box they don't like sell them they don't do all of that so the first one is of George and Fred and it says they only the only time they got to grow old together and that is obviously when they used the aging spell to put their names in the goblet of fire very interesting artwork. I like how their orange hair is just what stands out out of everything. So an interesting take rather than having them have like gray hair or anything like that. But I like that. I do. Um, the next artwork is the Dragon Challenge Eggs. So this one right here is the Swedish dragon. Then we have the Welsh green. We have the lion dragon and we have the horn tail so there's hungary china welsh and the short snout from sweden yeah so from wales wales china hungary and sweden um these are really cool i do like this um i've never i guess studied or looked into what these eggs would look like so that's kind of cool to have um and this is by twillings and tattings i believe yeah twillings and tattings um so this is original artwork for this box 
All right, up next we have this. You can see there's a little sticking out thing. Let's pull it on out. All right, this is the quick quill for taking notes, and this is also by Twillings and Tattings. Um, and this is like Rita's quill, and I love that it's green. It definitely is like Slytherin vibes. I'm not sure if other people got different colors or not, but I love this. I just don't know how to use it. I don't even know if it's a functioning one. I don't know how to tell. It does have like a, if I can get these out of the way, a little point on it. So I don't know if that actually would hold any ink. I don't know. I'm not a person that is fancy like that. All right, there are, are lots of things to choose from. I see this. What is this? The Prefix Bath Bath Bomb Chunks with Lemon, Lime, and Lavender. Before you open this bag for a bath, be sure to speak the magic word or suffer the mermaid's wrath. The password is Pine Fresh. So I really want to smell this. I love baths. I have been taking one almost every night because of how crazy stressed I am. And there's it's like green and teal and there's like a little bit of orange. Not my favorite smell, like maybe it's the lavender. I don't like when things are overpowered with lavender. So I can smell a little bit of the lemon, not too much lime. I get a lot of lavender. So I wish there's a little bit less lavender but in a bath that will be really calming. So I do like that. And it just has like that blue and the yellow and orange colors. All right, up next it says constant vigilance and it comes in this little tiny box. Also that bath bomb is from the witch's bath exclusively made for the ask box. So we have Oh, and the Growing Old print is by J.P. Mistlecrow. They're not by the same artist. We have Mad Eye's Eyeball. Now, I hate eyeballs. Eyeballs are disgusting. Mad Eye freaks me out as a character. Um, will I ever wear this? Maybe on Halloween. Other than that, no. Um, it's kind of cool. It is glass blown. Um, this is, let's see if it says who it's from. This is from Deep Creek Glassworks, W-O-R-X. It's really well made, really well done. It just freaks me out and don't like it. So, a good item. I haven't seen something like that. Up next, we have from Flitwick's Candles. I love Flitwick's Candles. They're so good. We keep getting them in these boxes, and I honestly hope that they always have a Flitwick candle in these boxes. We are getting Dermstring Black Sea the Black Sea Candle. So it is Dermstring Red. Um, it smells like, it's really salty. I'll be real. It smells like the ocean, but like a really, really salty ocean on a hot, hot day. Do I like it? Not so sure. I like it better than the Prefect Bath Bomb, which is surprising. So I like this. It was out in the sun, and so, well, in my mailbox, and so it's like partly, part, partly, partway melted. I like that. It's, it's salty, though, so if you don't like the smell of the sea, you will not like that. All right, we have a mysterious green pouch. All right. Let's open it up, and... We have a dragon egg and it is like this pastel -y iridescent egg. I believe this is supposed to be the Swedish egg if I'm comparing them. Has a brilliant blue flame, hard, hard scaled shell, color shifting pastel shades with a white pearlescent sheen. Yeah, this has got to be a golden egg or not, a golden egg, the, this egg. 
So it says that this is one of four random eggs. So you will be getting a random egg. I obviously got the Swedish egg, which I actually don't mind. That is a beautiful, beautiful egg. All right. Up next, we do have the golden egg. Um, and this is from Alchemy for the Skin. So this is golden egg glycerin soap in the smell of orange and vanilla. And it is brushed with 24 karat gold mica. So let's go ahead, open this up. So here it is in the package. Because I really want to smell it. And we've also received some Alchemy for the Skin before as well. I believe in the first box we got the um that hand cream. So oh my gosh. This smells like a dream sickle, like an orange cream sickle. You definitely get glitter on your hands from using it, but it's very soft. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. This is my favorite thing like that we've gotten that smells like this. Maybe beside, well, the butter beer candle that we got last box was really good. But um, yeah, this soap is definitely going in my bathroom. And I don't usually like hand soap like this. I like liquid soap because I think that these are kind of gross, but I like the smell. So I'm going to use this and it's going to be my soap. It's not going in the guest bathroom. It is mine. So up next we have our pin and we have the Disgraced Elf. I believe her name was, uh, what was her name? Winky? Was it Winky? I feel like that was her name. Anyway, so we have the Disgraced Elf Pin. All right, a couple more items. All right, let's look at this first item. I don't know if you can see, there's like a little, looks like a turtle. No, it's a bug. Oh, I'll let you guess what this is, and if you know it, then you're awesome. So, I'm going to read this little note or open it up and see what's attached to it. Hello, I hope your holiday is going well. My parents are taking me away on a trip, and I cannot take our reporter friend with me. This jar is unbreakable, but please do not drop her. Thank you, and see you soon. So, this is what I was thinking. This is Rita. So... I don't know when it is. I haven't read the book in a while. Um, is it towards the end that Rita gets turned into like a little bug? Or she can turn into a bug? I think she can turn into a bug. I really need to catch up on my Harry Potter again, obviously. Um, I don't know if I can even get this note back on there. Oh, there we go. I do like that. That is a really cute touch. When I think of book four, this is not what I think of. So it's a nice thing that the Ask Box does is that they give us things that are small details. All right. We also have a bigger detail. This says gillyweed, a magical plant that when eaten allows humans to breathe underwater. It gives the consumer gills, allowing them to breathe underwater and webbing between the fingers and toes, allowing them to swim underwater with ease um i'm trying to see if like who made this but it says gillyweed on it and it's green it looks really like it looks like it would be slimy if you were to eat it but i do not see who made this so i'm guessing the ask box made this they're pretty good about making their their potions all right we have one, two more items. Let's go ahead and open this up. Maybe. Oops. I get impatient with these. So, all right. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, it's upside down. Yeah, it's upside down. All right. So, we have task one with the golden egg. Task two. And task three, the maze. That is really cool. Um, so this just says that it's the three tasks print, and it's from In the Reads, R-E-A-D-S. I don't see, like, a signature from them. 
I would think that the artist would want to sign their work, but I don't see... I don't see it anywhere, but that is really cool. I really do like this. I want to frame this, and I'm not one to frame everything, so I like that a lot. All right, let's get this last item. It is covered in these icky brown cardboard paper things that leave shreds literally everywhere. Ugh. All right, we do have a t-shirt, and what's coming, or no, yeah, what's coming will come, and we'll meet it when it does, so that is a very cool shirt, it's going to have to be washed because it has all these little crinkly worms on them, as Cherry Wallace would say, Wrig wriggly worms, crinkly worms, she calls them worms. Anyway, so a pretty cool shirt, um, and this is box number four, so I am pretty excited about this. I do have the Ask a Box Back to School Edition box coming. I don't know when it will be here, but I will unbox it. Um, it was like a one-time exclusive, and again, I don't know what their plan is after they finish all seven boxes. However... I believe they are changing their name. I'm wanting to look it up real quick to figure this out because it was the Azka box, but they've changed their name. Yeah, you can't even go to the azkabox.com. Hold. I'm going to find this. Hmm. I am not. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see, I know that they changed their name because you can't do their website anymore. So if you know what their new name is, um, let me know because I can't find it anywhere and I'm really confused. But, oh, I might have found it. Did I find it? Yes, I did. They are now going to be called The Wizarding Trunk. So they have changed their name to The Wizarding Trunk. And online it says that they, they are sold out of The Wizarding Trunk. I'm not quite understanding that. Let's so this is saying that book five will come out in October, book six will come out in December, book seven will come out in February, and March there will be a new theme, and that the boxes ship between the 10th and the 15th of each month. Um, other than that, I am not finding anything about the back to school box. So hopefully they didn't cancel it. But anyway, let's go back to that first letter and I will quickly go through it. Hello and welcome to the Society Promoting Elfish Welfare. Along with this letter, you will be receiving your badge. Release or please display it with pride and whenever and whenever anyone asks you what it means, make sure to let them know just how mistreated our elfish friends are and what our short and long term goals are. If they are interested in a sewer in Assuring and bring, oh, if they are interested in assuring that the elf rights are protected, feel free to collect their joining fee and bring them to our next meeting where we will get them their welcome letter and badge. 
As I'm sure you know, the elves in the world are vastly underrepresented and changing this is our top priority. You may encounter those that say that elves enjoy cooking, cleaning, and serving the humans that have chosen to enslave them because that's exactly what it is, enslavement. It, elves are expected to work for free, cook for us, clean for us, take no holidays, and in most cases, in most cases, punish themselves for disobeying the selfish orders of their masters. This must be stopped, and as a part of this organization, it is our job to ensure that it is. To spread awareness to our cause, we will be sponsoring cleaning of the common rooms, and all members are expected to organize and attend their respective cleaning. If you are interested in learning to knit, you may feel free to join me in your spare time to knit clothes for the elves at school from the SPEW founder. So there we go. Very interesting letter. Very great box. And I'm excited to get the rest of them. I'll see you next time. Bye.